Hi there. In this video we will be taking a look at this battery that I received from Einhol. First thing I want to tell you this is a really interesting uh, type of battery and you can opt between two use modes maximum uh, capacity 6 amp hours or lower capacity and longer uh, lifetime 4 amp, uh, amp hours and the maximum that this thing can provide momentarily is uh, 1350 watts and that's a lot for uh, for a battery so let's get into the box if I could actually do this with one hand, that'd be great. And I might be able to do it. And I can tell you for a fact, this battery is huge. This is a huge battery. We have rubber here in the bottom area, the top. Yeah, the top is also rubber. This is big, quite a beefy battery. One, two, three, four, five. So, five uh, groups of cells in parallel. I wonder how many of them. So, probably one here and one here. So, I'm expecting 10 cells in total. This is a big battery for sure. <laughs> I'm going to quickly show you the manual and you can pause at any time if you don't have the manual anymore and I will explain you a really cool thing. Basically these batteries are so big that they can't even be shipped in full 6 amp hour mode. So from the factory they come in 4 amp hour mode. and. In the manual, they tell us here to read the manual, and in the manual we are told how to convert them or set them to 6 amp hour. And as you can see, they have two different part numbers when they are in 4 amp hour mode and in 6 amp hour mode. The last uh, number right there changes from 2 to 3. This is really, really cool. So, uh, first press, quickly it will show you the a charge percentage and the mode the battery is in. If you want to go from 4 to 6, you uh, press on this for five for 6 seconds and the battery will count and when it hits, hits 6 you quickly press the button and it will continue to count and then show you it has changed to 6 amp hour mode and now if I press the button to show me the charge, it's a different charge from what it was before, a different value. It's, it's really interesting. So let me convert back to 4 amp power. Again, press the button for uh, 6 set, uh, seconds. Oh, I don't think I pressed it enough this time. Okay, 6 seconds. We are in 6 amp power mode, it's starting to count and when we hit 4, press it, it will continue to count. It's doing this so you do not uh, change the mode by mistake. We are in 4 amp power now and this is the charge percentage. It's, <laughs> it's really, really cool. Um, what else? Yes, they are telling you here that you cannot ship it basically in a 6 amp power mode. There are regulations limiting the capacity of batteries that can be shipped. If you want to see better the conversion. Okay, so that's about it for the battery. Now I will explain you what this battery actually is with these two modes or at least how I understand it and I don't think I'm wrong I think I'm actually right this let's make an analogy with a tank let's say a water tank a really big water tank 
Uh, in 6 amp hour mode, we are using the full capacity of that, that tank. So we are charging it to the max and discharging it to the minimum. So it's always doing the maximum. It's putting stress on that tank every single time we fully charge and discharge. If we switch it to 4 amp hour mode, we are not using the whole thing. We are using a smaller part. Maybe we are not even discharging to the minimum and charging to the maximum. We are using only this part of the tank. By using that, we are limiting the stress on the tank, but in reality on these batteries. So we are not using their full capacity, meaning we are wearing them way less and they will last three times more. The life uh, span of this uh, battery pack will be three times longer in 4 amp hour, uh, hour mode than in 6 amp hour mode. But if we actually need the full capacity of the tank, let's put the tank away, then we switch to 6 amp hour mode and then it will behave as any other uh, batteries, charge to full, drain to uh, empty. Really awesome idea. And something else that somebody was reporting online and they seem to be correct from what I can see here. They were saying that this new battery might actually have different type of cells inside of it. And let me show you the reasoning of that person. For example, I have a 4 amp power. Uh, when they are set to 4 amp hours, in theory, the duration that you can use the battery on a single charge is the same between these two. But because that person noticed that probably in this newer battery we have different type of cells, the instant power that this can deliver, not the total working time, the instant power for a moment when you drill something uh, with a rotary hammer or, or cut something or who knows what you are doing, the instant power presumably is bigger on this one because it has different more powerful cells. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, why they were saying that the cells are different? Well, look at this. These batteries, maybe it's better to see like this. The 4 amp power is uh, smaller in this direction and the batteries are aligned in this direction. So in theory at least, I'm not going to have open these battery packs, I don't like to play like that with uh, lithium batteries honestly, they stay well uh, closed from the factory in my possession. In theory the batteries in this are longer and I don't, don't see any reason why would they would have made this longer if they wouldn't need to. And another thing, so they are longer, we know that for a fact. This battery is longer also in this direction, which means the diameter of the cells is bigger. And we can see that in another way. I have this uh, 2.5 amp hour battery. If we align, you can see here the shape, the round uh, shape of the, the cells inside. We can see it in the plastic. So if we align the bottom lines between these two, top ones are not aligned anymore. So the one on the left has a bigger cell, bigger diameter and longer. In this, we have the standard uh, batteries that we, in this and this, we have the standard batteries that we used to have in laptops. The cells, round ones, about this long, 18650 is the code of the battery. Somebody online was suggesting that this most likely has 21700 battery code and that means these batteries have more capacity so maybe in the future we will even see more than 6 amp hours who knows with this new type of cells and can output more instant current than uh, the older ones so it's a win-win the only downside obviously Bigger cells means more weight. This thing has a kilogram. So it's one kilo. 
this presumably honestly yeah let me check something yeah try to put them somehow in here okay <laughs> i think these two together are actually about the same weight uh, as this by itself yeah maybe a tiny bit heavier so this is a heavy battery but in some applications a bit more weight behind your tool can actually help you so uh, win and lose it's not 100 percent ideal yes you would like the hugest possible capacity with the lightest possible battery physics doesn't work uh, like that anyway so that's about it uh, for me, I genuinely don't even know what capacity, uh, what setting I will be using, 4 amp like it is now uh, or 6 amp. I do have already a 4 amp, but I also don't have huge tools that consume that much power that I would need to use 6, uh, six amp. So maybe only when I need to somehow, who knows why, I will switch to 6 amp. Uh, but most times it will be used as a similar uh, one of these, but which with a three times longer uh, lifespan. So that's going to be awesome. And I just want to show you if you have one of these tools. Uh, yeah, this is not compatible with them. So be careful about that. I have here an Einhal leaflet. I will link in the description the English variant, but I'm uh, showing you. Uh, I don't know. Let me see what some numbers that make sense. Okay, so for example, here you can uh, screw with this uh, with the 4 amp battery 600 screws with a six uh, 5.2 amp uh, almost 800. Presumably with this 6 amp you can go to 950 screws that can be screwed in with a full charge and similar to all of the other tools you simply have a bigger uh, uh, reservoir uh, on your tool at that point and something else for tools like this you cannot really use a battery smaller than 3 amp to use to have the whole power of the tool available to you but if you use one of these, you might actually get a bonus in power from your tool. Once it can supply more instant uh, power and being heavier, the tool itself, yes, it's heavier to hold in your hand. That's clear. But it also works a bit better because it has more weight behind it. So the impact could be a bit stronger. And there presumably are other tools that could benefit. For example, this one you don't use below 2.6. Again, this is um, a power uh, sensitive tool. This one, I've used it. Uh, I have actually this one and I've used it with my, uh, where is it? My 2.5, which is uh, yeah, right at the limit. You can feel it's weak. When I use it with a 4 amp, which is right about here, it's much better and I will also use it with a 6 amp in 6 amp mode and will report back to you but that's going to happen uh, in the future this one again I've used it uh, I also have it and I've used it with uh, the smaller and the bigger one also you can uh, feel the power difference I will be also uh, I will also be using it with the stronger one so uh, yeah for this one's no need and I think there are many other tools that can benefit from uh, not only edit uh, yeah, this one for example not only edit capacity you benefit from edit capacity on all of them but from edit instant power the tools that are a bit more uh, sensitive to to how much power the battery can provide at one point in time for example this one yeah, this will like more power for a fact. Or this one, this is again power sensitive. All of them basically from your garden or something like that, as I can see in here. 
So uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole book. I will put it in the description. You check what you need to. The only downside again is the weight, but for a tool like this, for your garden, weight doesn't really matter. It supports itself. You only push it, but the difference in weight between this and this when only pushing and it has wheels, not that important. So I will actually switch to 6 amp hour mode because only then I can feel a difference compared to this one. In 4 amp hour mode, in theory, I shouldn't really see that much of a difference, but in 6 amp hour mode, I will uh, feel a difference in running time and also in power delivery. At least that's my theory. And yes, when you switch between 6 and 4 uh, amp hours, uh, you see a difference in charge state, so you need to charge it in that particular uh, setting uh, to the full. And it doesn't specify anywhere, you can use standard chargers, you don't need any special charger for that. Yes, the old ones only give you this kind of uh, reading, this one, yeah, you know for a fact where you are. So that's about it for the moment, I will start using this and uh, report back, but up until now, this is a beast. Forgot to tell you about the battery, based on this code, if you go to Einhell website, you can get one year more of warranty on uh, it. I always uh, list my products on the website to have a bit more uh, warranty on them, because why wouldn't if you can uh, have it? And yes, obviously you can use this battery even in 6 amp hour mode with a tool that is basically half the size and less than a quarter of the weight and you will get unlimited unlimited uh, run time out of it so this thing heating up and i will do my work with it if my daughters will let me and it heated up obviously with such a big battery <laughs> impossible not to heat up and we will be gluing uh, this thing right in here because we are modifying this old thing which uh, had some standard incandescent bulbs and we are transforming it into lead so let's get to it well this is a nice job now i just need to find two more things that i can glue to this and it is fully completed. This thing is awesome. But yes, obviously, this is the wrong battery 100% for this type of tool. But in a pinch, if uh, you only have this one charged and the smaller ones are discharged, yes, you can use it even with such a tool. So, uh, yeah, if I ever need some weight behind the, this, uh, the battery has one kilogram. So, one full kilo of weight behind the tool. Using this beast to drill some holes. Small holes, of course. Uh, honestly, it might seem weird or sound weird, but when I put the battery and uh, beware of the noise I can somehow feel more power this seems to be spinning a bit faster I could be crazy honestly or just by the fact that this is heavier uh, the the hammer has more mass in itself and it's able to uh, hammer in uh, with more force, more power, I don't know, but it's just, it feels like a different tool. <laughs> I could be crazy, but that's what I feel when I, I power it on. So let's drill some holes and I will get back to you to tell you if I actually drill easier now or not with a huge battery. This is a beast. <laughs> it made short work of drilling this uh, hole through the wall and I need to also drill 
a hole into concrete now, so let's see how that goes, but I love this thing. Of course, I hit iron camera focus, would you focus camera? So I'm actually using this drill to drill through the iron because I cannot move the hole. And yes, as you can see, it's fitting also on this uh, cordless drill at the limit. And it's heavy, it's really heavy, so it's not intended for something like this. But I want to test the battery. So let's drill to the metal, through the metal. Ha! Huh. I was drilling another hole in concrete which is up to here thick and we are about that deep in uh, in the concrete already and I managed to empty the battery so let's put it to charge but this thing is a beast it's <laughs> really good but also your hand gets tired depending on the position because it's really heavy so yeah win some lose some let's replace it with the 4 amp to continue drilling this hole and put this to charge. Let's see if this uh, charging station is able to handle it. I see no reason why it wouldn't be able to handle it. But uh, yeah, there's that. So it charges at 3 amps in theory. It will take about 2 hours for this to fully charge or something like that. If I could actually get it in there. And I think we loaded it. Yep, and it started charging. So let it do its thing and we continue drilling holes with the 4 amp. For finishing that hole and drilling half of the other one which is about the same length, I used up basically uh, about 60% of the 4 amp battery. Keep in mind that one was uh, a quarter of it almost, maybe even more actually, uh, a third of it uh, drilled with the 6 amp. And this little thing is highly overheated so I'm going to let it rest. But the 6 amp that's charging now was working like a champ, honestly. Really nice thing. Yes, you need to watch it upside down. It's showing... Uh, how it's actually charging exactly how much it's charged because a dumb charger like the one that I have it's only showing that it's charging but not where you are in the charge uh, cycle so yep it's charging quite quickly honestly quicker than I expected it or I was that busy using the other uh, battery that I didn't realize how much time it passed that could be a reason also. Based on when I started to film this took about 2 hours and 10 maximum 15 minutes to charge. Let's see 100% but when uh, it's finished are we in 4 amp hour? No I think we are in 6 amp hour. So 100% yeah 6 amp hour mode. Whew, I thought I set it to 4 amp hour by mistake. Nope it's at max that's good. So uh, I watched when uh, I filmed that I put it to, to charge the time the stamp of that and uh, yeah 2 hours and 15 minutes something like that as expected everything went well this heated up a tiny bit the battery not, not at all this cannot heat up the battery when charging it's not powerful enough it heated up but just normal working temperature nothing special so yes even a weak charger like this weak can uh, charge it really decently. I've been vacuuming uh, almost all the house with uh, the big vacuum cleaner, quite nice uh, one, and this was about 70% charged or something like that, the 6 amp, and now we are at 13%. So this thing will last uh, a whole house vacuuming in my opinion. The smaller ones will not last uh, you vacuuming a whole house. This is not meant for a whole house, but uh, I'm still using it and it's doing a perfect job. Awesome, I help. This huge battery is awesome for the vacuum cleaner. 
managed to drain it to zero, but honestly, I vacuumed the whole house with it. Uh, although it's obviously not meant to do that, but uh, it does the job well with uh, a tiny mode of adding some wheels. Yeah, so let's put the battery to charge. But up until now, this is an awesome battery with a really, really, really long use if you use it in 6M mode. Okay, so to end the video, this battery is honestly awesome. I'm using it on this vacuum cleaner and it just lasts and lasts and lasts because this uh, uses lots of juice because I actually modified it uh, and I'm also using it around the house in various areas so uh, yeah <laughs> but this battery keeps up with it no issues I will also use it in the summer uh, on my uh, grass streamer, I think also on the circular saw most likely yeah for sure I will use it on the circular saw to give it a bit more uh, oomph but for this vacuum they are a match made in heaven honestly it just gives it so much run time which is perfect so hope this video helps you in which case uh, yeah daughters in the background in which case please give it a like Check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one. And again, thank you Einhard for sending this battery in. Bye.